man. I'm so relieved that we are finally done with school, Wala. My God, you won't understand how I feel. I'm bubbling with excitement right now. My greatest joy is that my dad said he has made beautiful plans for me. He said once I'm done with service like this, I won't search for job or anything. Wow, man, guy, I'm so envious of you right now. You already tried for you. Daddy! Huh? My son? How are you doing? Daddy, I'm fine. Daddy, I'm finally done with my service. This is very good. Come and sit down. Now you have become a man, it is time for you to assume your responsibility as firstborn. I'm ready to face any challenges ahead. That is very good. Now remember I told you I have an investment in all your state. Yes, Dad. You will go there and ask of Adewale Osho. Mr. Adewale Osho? Yes. He will hand you everything you need. Okay, Dad. Let me go and freshen up. My son, may the Lord order your steps. Amen. As you go, may he shine his light before you and guide you in all you do and make everything you do successful. Amen. Go in peace, my son. And remember everything I told you. You might not be able to take flight because there's no direct flight to Ibadan from here. Take a bus. It's an eight-hour journey. Hey! Asami man! Hey, Mecca! Uh-uh! What are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing. Oh boy, when you finish service now? I finished with the last badge, of course. That was my badge now. Where did they go with back? Oh boy. I they go Ibadan like this. Ibadan care. What in the Ibadan? Oh boy, eh? Now Popsi, oh. Popsi say he get one racket like that. Wait, one may I go wrong with one of the or short guy like that? Now wow. People they go Ibadan. My guy, now Lagos be the real deal now. For real? My guy, why you go to ask me that kind of question now? Now Lagos guys, they run things now. Lagos is the city of endless opportunities. Once you have a place to put your head like this, forget it. Jobs, Yakpa. Guy, Bella said, now this Lagos go make sense. Oh. I did tell you. Oh, yeah, now, go run. Welcome. Hope your journey was not too stressful. No, brother. America, meet my cousin. Ah, my phone. I've lost my phone. This is Lagos, my brother. Sammy, how things go be now? It's been two weeks since we got here. And me now, I don't even have a phone since I lost my phone on my first day in Lagos. Now I can't even communicate with my dad. Oh boy. I didn't know Lagos is like this. The way people used to say it is like once you get here, jobs will just be glaring at you. Guy, we just have to get out there and hustle. Ketu Ojata my two. Ketu Ojata my two. Ketu o. Ketu Ketu o. Boy, today no easy. Oh. Now so one woman carry one bag enter inside bus. I don't know whether na fish you put inside I be waiting. The thing just the smell eh. I don't know this kind of suffering. I can't believe that me, a graduate, is doing what Tao are supposed to be doing. But my father told me that he had good plans for me. Now where are the plans? I've been suffering. Even to eat is hard work. See where I'm even managing to sleep. Hello? Are they one How is your family? So you mean you have not seen my son yet? Maybe I should go and make police report or something. This is getting out of hand. 
I've been trying his phone number for two weeks now, I can't reach him. Yes, sir. The secretary told me you sent for me. Uh -huh. The maker you were here. As a new supervisor, you'll be going to Ibadan for your first assignment. We have a cleaning contract in a very reputable firm in Ibadan. And I want you to head this project. I'm honored, sir. I promise I won't let you down. Wow. This looks great. It's like me, I will try my luck in this place. Who knows? They might call me someday to come and work here. Sir, excuse me, sir. Supervisor, Mr. Emeka. Your result looked very attractive, but you don't have much experience. Only eight months. Yes, sir. But I promise I'm a fast learner. I'll deliver my utmost performance if given a chance, sir. It's just because I lost my phone some years ago. I will have been working in my father's company long before now. Wait, did you say you should have been working in your father's company? Who is your father? Because I'm curious about your surname. Yes, sir. my father told me to come to Oyo State about five years ago and meet one Mr. Adewale Osho to give me a job. But I foolishly went to Lagos with a friend and misplaced my phone along the way. I haven't even reached my dad since then. But I'm planning to gather some money so I can go and visit him this coming December. Wait. What is your father's full name? Chief Oji Emerie. Oh my goodness! What a world! So is everything alright? I am a Dewale Osho, the person your father sent you to. Your father even went to the police station to give a statement that he lost his son. He thought maybe he has lost you to kidnappers or something. So you know my father? I said I am a Dewale Osho that you are supposed to meet with. This is your father's company. This is the company he sent you to come ahead. As long as we are working outside of God's plan for us, we will continue to struggle until we get back on track with God. And know that you can never be better than what God has proposed you to be. Sometimes our lives are like that of a maker. God has prepared a future for us. But we either try to copy other people by doing what we are not supposed to do, or going where we are not supposed to go. We blame God for not listening to our cries and not seeing our tears. But we sometimes have to look around us. Are we where God wants us to be? And are we doing what God wants us to do? We have to ask God for direction. Mm -hmm.